three, two, one, Tetris. Joe Biden is seven foot three. Yep. All right, here we go. Both players starting off here. First game of this match of the, of the green futures bracket. Andrew K with a nice adjustment there to accommodate for the J piece. Both players with zero burns. Andrew's gonna get the first Tetris. Draco getting a little droughted here. Gonna take a burn. Wait, still waiting for that bar. It's gonna clear away fine though. Got some good RNG there. And it's gonna get the Tetris there with five burned lines. Just got droughted there, but it's gonna get another Tetris right after that. Andrew on the other can't uh, Andrew on the other hand is perfect. 12 lines. I always make the joke, oh, that's gonna last forever, but ever since Fractal got 27 Tetrises in a row at CTWC, I, I feel like I can't make that joke anymore. Alright, Draco. Oh, with some excellent burns there and RNG. Can see in 4K, obviously. Except for, uh, for a few more burns. Two doubles right there, gonna clean up the stack. And is gonna set up a hang for the for the Tetris, keeping that well open. Just a lot of spiring here on Draco's side, but is getting it done, getting locked, getting Z bursted actually. That's gonna be helpful in this case. Look at that flat again. It's gonna get the Tetris right there. Just tons of S's for some reason. I swear I've seen so many S's on on Draco's side. Okay, Andre is just popping off. 200k at 36 lines is perfect. All right, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna set up for the burn here. Could set up for a Tetris here if he gets the right pieces, but he's probably gonna want to burn. But gonna burn with a Tetris, probably the most efficient way to do it. Probably. There we go. Set up for another Tetris here. Not gonna be a perfect transfer, and he's gonna take a few more burns now. Set up for a perfect transfer. Just get the long. Oh, there it is. Long bar there. Perfect transfer. Would love to end it off with the long bar right now, but of course that's what that's the game to the side. There you go. Long bar for Andre K. Two hundred. Here we go. Three hundred thousand at fifty nine lines for Andre K. This is pace. Draco with two hundred sixty six thousand and sixty two lines. Not even bad pace. But Andre K. With 347 around only a few lines ahead. It's just seriously pacing here. Look at that roller line to the left. Although it's not getting great RNG. It's probably looking to burn something down here. Yep. Ooh, and some great pieces there. Gonna get the Tetris again. Yeah, when you see players and they, and you feel like they're constantly getting the right pieces, it's probably not it. Everyone gets the same RNG. Well, generally. It's probably that they are better at stacking. Of course, they're not getting the exact same RNG, but, you know, the better player, the better player stacking is, the better their RNG appears to be because their board is more accommodating. No. All right. All right, we found our first airstrike victim in the chat. Jepper Tetris, uh, tell me your name, social security number, etc., and I'll and I'll see you soon. All right, Andre, setting up a, a secret grade here. It's gonna misdrop the square, but not really big deal. It's gonna be a it's gonna be some burning. All right, Draco doing really well right now to catch up. 436 versus 473. And with Andrew K burning here, Draco's gonna have a chance to take the lead if they score a few more Tetrises. Yeah, just like that, Draco was able to recover the pace from those early burns. And look at that, with one more Tetris, it is now in the lead here at 110 lines. 
about 15 lines away from transition to both for both players. Andrew really wants to get this clean before then. Square dependent. It's just really not getting great pieces for Andrew right now. Probably almost certainly still going to be burning when transition comes around. So it's going to try and set up for the best burning situation. All right, Draco pushing down a little bit there. 577 at 128, about to transition. Actually, Andrew transitions first with 497. That pace really disappeared after that after that burn there, that digging, excuse me. And Draco with 581 is now comfortably in the lead. Although Andrew K, just like that, is burned all the way down and will soon be in a position to score again with that double. He's gonna be clean and ready to make back those Tetrises. But Draco, not letting up, gonna get that line dependency filled. Gonna miss the tuck there. Not terrible, but this these placements are not doing well. Is a tapper, doesn't have the piece maneuverability of a roller like Andri. Really trying his best but the pieces are not lining up for Draco here. Oh, and that, that hang might do it. He's going to really need to get some good burns here. And that's going to do it for Draco. Tops out at 647. So, Andrew K, your chase down is 648. Draco had an uh, excellent recovery there, and... But was not enough. Andre K with 655 is going to take game number one and we'll get the heart. GG's in the chat. Both players had some insane paces, also, but also had to get in some burn situations. What you're going to do when the RNG comes for you? All right, both players ready to get back at it. These two tigers ready to fight in the cage once again. Let's get the countdown going with a three, two, one, Tetris. And Sedubol2, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Tetris. All right, while I was looking at chat, Draco somehow already has a Tetris. No, no, that was so fast. What's the world's fastest Tetris? It's probably a level 29 start, but... Draco getting dangerously flat up there. I say dangerously as in when your stack is that flat and high up, it's hard to make decisions quickly and it can spiral real quick, but Draco not phased. But gonna be setting up some hangs here. You can go line flat. Beautiful line flat there for Storm and <laughs> Draco, excuse me. Look at these tuck setups from Draco. Just really getting RNG'd here. RNG'd, I suppose. But 115 at 22. Andrew, 97 at 24. A little bit of digging. We all do a little digging. Yo, what's up, Saint? Nice to see you here as well. All right, Andre, trying to keep the the garbage uncovered. Beautiful burn there. Wow, and that line is gonna do marvels there. Sets up the LJ dependency, but gets the J and the bar right after for the Tetris. Just clean it again. Love it when the when the RNG works out in your favor. But still has a pretty jagged stack, although it's not very far from getting it cleaned up. And as I say that, already looking nice and looking looking pretty nice, I'd say. Gonna get the Tetris there. 154 at 46. Draco, 233 at 47. Draco says, it's my turn to put on a ridiculous pace. 
doesn't want Andrew K to get all the credit. Draco putting these pieces, hanging them up there like that. You see uh, Jonas do that quite a bit. If you ever if you ever watch some of his old streams, you can see it works works out more often than you'd think because it seems so uh, ridiculous. All right, Draco looking nice and clean. Andre once again getting in a dig up here. Parody is suffering. Well, it's looking better now. Gonna take a triple there. Made a good decision with that long bar. Now I would just love another to get out of this completely, but of course the game's gonna drought him now. Although holds out for it and gets it. There we go. Just a few burns away from opening the well. Now is the opportunity to take a Tetris there. Andrew's clean once again. 242 at 77 for Andre, 376 at 78 for Draco. Really good pace here. Has not gotten in a lot of digs so far. And it's just smooth sailing so far. Of course, this is Tetris. If you guys didn't know. Which means anything can happen. So, hold on to your boots and your hats and your rolling gloves. Alright, Andrew K setting up some burns here. Just really trying to play more efficiently, but not getting the RNG to do it. Maybe Andrew knows that he's behind. But with that rolling ability, when you're behind on on 18, I know this from experience, when you're a roller, you think, eh, no big deal. I can just <laughs> classic roller move, I can just make it up on 19 and on the kill screen, but of course. At this level, kill screen isn't isn't going to be as viable as as level 19, and that's where rollers really have the advantage at this level of play. Anyways, 541 at 112 for Draco. What the frick? Meanwhile, 354 at 114 for Andrew K. Draco, you get a what the frick from me. It's gonna easily transition with with 600k at this point. Can even take a few burns. Look at that, 600k. Even has room for one more Tetris. Of course, no pressure, because that is one heck of a score to transition with in competition. Of course, this is where you get droughted. Dangerous stuff here. Oh, it's gonna hang. Peace. And look at that. Drago's going to top out at 127 lines, 611,000. Andrew K with a misdrop, but I will inform you now that your chase down is 612,000. Yeah, right, transition. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter when. When those droughts sneak up on you like that, and you miss drop high on the board, it's it can be really deadly, as you can see right there. So Andrew K, playing nice and clean right now. Knows they can take those burns if they need to. Setting up for the Tetris here, actually. It's gonna get it. Some last second decisions there for Andrew K, but it's gonna get the setup and the Tetris. There we go. Now it just needs a few more lines to get 612. There's 611. Setting up for the Tetris. Gonna do it with a triple instead. 618 for Andrew K, and takes game number two. That was some NSFW there. Ooh, what? <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, the 600k in comp transition and then the top I read after is a classic move. I think every Tetris player has experienced that. Well, high, you know, high transition and then top out immediately afterwards. Story, story of Tetris. Anyways, both players are ready. Let's get it going. These guys don't want to wait. Let's get it going with a three, two, one. Tetris, Andrew K with two games up against Draco. Just needs one more game to secure the sweep. Draco in an interesting position now as they get some outrageous starting pieces. This is <laughs> this is how I feel like every single one of my games off stream goes when you start. Gonna get it cleaned up and I'm gonna take a Tetris for Draco there. Andrew K has a Tetris on the board with a few lines burned. Of course, at this early in the game, it doesn't matter. Hope you didn't hear that. That was my stomach. I think I'm hungry. Okay, Draco spiring cr like crazy up here. Really needs to get get some pieces over there to burn. Didn't get good RNG. Oh, but that, that square misplacement is going to be really tough. But gets great RNG for it. Gonna take a Tetris there. You can see he could have taken a triple, but set up for the Tetris knows that this is the they're gonna have to go all out for these next few games if they want to stay competitive against Andre. Get the center well there. 90k at 34 lines for Draco. Andre with 120 at 28. Need the boom sound bite. A boom. And a boom. Andrew K with <laughs> I was gonna say line spin setup. I feel like whenever I see anything that looks remotely like a line spin setup, I just I calculate if I if it's line spinnable. Look Vandy, oh my gosh. Anyways, Draco, center welling still, playing aggressive. And it's paying off. Now at 143, at 47. Draco, 144 at 192. Draco with another Tetris down the middle. It's going to set up on the left side now. Kind of seemed indecisive there, but looking clean. Still not quite set up for a Tetris yet, but with that T is going to be. It's going to get the perfect transfer there. You love to see it. Now back to a right well. 217 at 66 lines for Draco. 284 at 61 lines for Andre. Andre K now at 300K at 69 Excuse me, 65 lines. So Andrew K really putting on the pace this game. Would, would love to just end it right here. Draco not getting great pieces right now. Would love burn options. It's really a tough situation to analyze at this speed, to be honest. Can set up for a Tetris here. Gonna get the Tetris. Probably just gonna take a few more burns here to get clean. Look for the right piece though to do it efficiently. There we go. Line flat is gonna open up stuff, but just not getting stuff. Oh, that that line misplacement is could be deadly. Have, gonna have to do some insane burning digging right now. It's almost halfway there actually. Just needs the RNG, but not gonna get it. That's gonna be it for Draco. Tops out at 321. And Andre K okay, secures the sweep.
really rough stuff for for Draco to deal with. Draco, you don't need to apologize for making it uninteresting. You know, we we Tetris players, when you watch Tetris, it's fun no matter what. You know, maybe maybe it's we're biased towards Tetris because we play Tetris, but that's how it is. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Renz, I'm going live on. Oh. Leal, all right. With that, let's get the next game set up. Uh, I can switch to pre-roll. All right, cool. Do I, do I uh, run an ad right now? Some someone more knowledgeable than me tell me what to do. Yes, I like that. Also, who who is playing? Seeds number seven and seed number ten. All right. So let me let me get Boxy's alt in there. that work? Alright, Boxy, I think I have O'Leal up here. I'm not seeing anything though. Let me refresh. Yeah, it says offline. Just need a minute? All right, cool. No worries. Oh, what? Why is there a timer there? Go away. Cheers, chat. Indeed. Oh, I, d ah! I didn't give, <laughs> I didn't give Andrew the last heart. Oh, whatever, I'll just report it. No big deal. Are we taking names of everyone who says Rance Hearts? Good. I don't see it yet. That's good. What is this? Oh. I haven't logged in. To Classic Tetris Monthly? Can we get a seed? Yes, you can. There you go, one C, F723. Once again, one C, F723. Sorry, I hit the mic.
All right. Transition. <laughs> there's no there's no fate on the transition. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, let me adjust that camera for Boxy real quick. We're still in round one. All right. Just making sure I got everything. So we got Ryan Hamburger himself versus Boxy 3210. Boxy is a DAS player from Portugal, and Ryan is a tapper from the United States. We got tap versus DAS, guys. Who's going to win? Insane. Das will win. Ryan, not very confident in their playing ability today. However, that has the inverse side effect of looking really weird if you win. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Why did I just say that? Ryan, you cannot act like this. It is not fair if you win. I expect this to go the same as last month. Well, we shall see. Got a ready from Ryan on the board there. Alright, Boxy also hovering three. We can see both players have the seed there. We're gonna get this going between Ryan Hamburger and Boxy with a 3 2 1 Tetris. Just Sonic on YouTube. Thank you for the follow 16 minutes ago. Sorry, I missed that. Welcome to Tetris. Both players getting the same pieces right now? I think so. Oh man, they're already out of sync. I can't tell. Anyways, yeah, actually, let me just check real quick. It's not, it's not too hard to check the streams. Yeah, they're on the same seed. All right. Both players with a few Tetrises right off the bat. Also, that... Let me fix that stencil. That's, that's a little bit ugly. sec. What? What in the doohickey heck? Why can't I? What is going on here? Oh. There we go. Ah, uh, good enough. All right. Ryan, doing some burning here. 161 at 46 lines. Boxy with 216 at 50 lines. So Boxy here with a true lead at around 50 lines. Ryan just got clean right there. Just gonna look up to set up a Tetris real soon. As you know, this is the game Tetris. You score Tetrises to win Tetris. It's a, it's a good tip.
All right. Ryan, getting a Tetris, getting a lot of bars, but since they're using same piece sets, Boxy will also get these same bars, or has already got them. Two eighty six and sixty four lines for Boxy, two eighteen and sixty four lines for Ryan. Ryan looking to catch up here. Boxy with a little overhang setup here. Would love an L piece for that. That's probably the only thing that works there. Yeah, it's gonna have to burn. But gets the good pieces for it. Now clean once again. Gonna get the Tetris, a boom. So 361 for Boxy, 310 for Ryan. I always hesitate because I almost, I almost say Rai Chessmaster. Because every time I commentate, I just look at the bottom and repeat the names no matter what. Oh, Boxy with a quick tap there to get the line over. Has an L dependency set up. It's gonna have to burn, yep. That, that L is gonna help. Oh, sorry, J dependency. I have my, I, I didn't learn my letters, sorry. Okay, has a Tetris set up. Gonna get the Tetris there on column eight. 441 for Boxy after a little bit of digging, 429 for Ryan. So Ryan making up the gap a little bit here as we approach transition. That's going to make a big difference because these guys are not using the same playstyle. Isn't that crazy? Boxy using DAS is going to be much more difficult to maintain efficiency on level 19 with without being able to stack as high as a tapper like Ryan. But you know, if a DAS player with great with great DAS control can stack with the equivalent of 10 hertz tapping, and even more if they can quick tap reliably. Good J flat from Boxy indeed. Ryan getting some Tetrises. Boxy looking to transition here with about mid 500k if they can get one more Tetris. Ryan gonna trans transition with 529. Boxy with 537. Great tuck there from Boxy. Those tucks on level 19 with DAS are much more difficult to time. Alright, we have transitioned everyone. This is when it gets serious. Alright, Boxy. Playing with fire right now. Had a lot of LJ dependencies set up, but now is looking okay. Ryan, on the other hand, staying clean, getting Tetrises, but Boxy's still ahead. But that will soon change with Ryan getting that Tetris now in the lead with 617 versus Boxy with 605. Alright, Ryan with a with mist drop plus a delayed burn could have been difficult to get out of, but oh that mist drop is actually gonna make it more difficult. Ryan doesn't have any options on the left side. Okay, gets the gets the L. Oh, but it's not gonna be able to get anything over to the right. It's gonna top out a 623. So Boxy, you're chasing on a 624. A few more singles will do it, actually. There you go, 624 for Boxy is gonna take game number one. Yeah, Ryan... ...got some rough... ...had a rough stack up high there. And with uh, just a, a misdrop was... ...this one misdrop was enough to send that spiraling. And then it's really difficult to recover from there. But Valiant Effort nonetheless. Okay, go ahead and 
interval into into integrates inter integer your integers what how do they say it you're gonna be looking at two maybe c d two d no i i didn't just recite the abcs to myself go ahead and switch the first two integers of your seed from one c to two d and we can continue also boxy is your uh Oh, your capture card has a... Uh, it appears to have glitched out. Maybe reset... You know, uh... Yeah, there you go. You can unplug it, then plug it back in. There you go. Alright, you ready to go? Yep, that's moving. Let's get the countdown going for game number two between Ryan and Boxy. Three, two, one, Tetris. Those are different seeds. Mm, wait, are they? No, they're not. Man, I'm, I'm getting so messed up right now keep playing there I think the same seeds there's no way they're different I'm I'm psyching myself out all right a few touches is right off the bat for Ryan there boxy really building up that left side a lot but, but, the, but the pieces are not very accommodating for that, actually. That's what building up a left can do if you're not as flat. But of course, building up a left is going to be the be very safe way to play. One that I should probably do more regularly. Alright, 95k for Ryan, 74k for Boxy, about the same line. About the same line count. Alright, Ryan with the line spin, you love to see it. Ryan gonna slam down a Tetris. Boxy demolishing the board with another Tetris. Ryan absolutely obliterating this game with another Tetris. I'm sorry, I'll stop. Yo, Gurney on Arrakis, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Tetris. Alright. Ryan not getting good RNG at all. It's gonna gonna set up some delayed burns right away, and it pays off. Well, so far at least. This RNG is really not helping Ryan at all. Solemn, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Tetris. Alright, 228 for Ryan versus 205 for Boxy. Both players have been digging Boxy. Oh man, all of those hangs there, but gets some great pieces for the left side. And is actually looking clean now and is gonna get the Tetris. That was some some really aggressive setups right there, but pays off. Uh, look at that adjustment for the JPs there from Boxy. Beautiful stack. Ryan, on the other hand, still in this digging situation. That line is going to help a lot. Actually, Tetris ready right now. Going to get the Tetris there down the middle on some garbage. A dirty Tetris, as they call it. If they get a square, they could actually set up another Tetris here. Look at that. Set up for another Tetris. But of course, they're going to get routed. 
for just a little bit before getting the Tetris. And now is very close to having a clean stack. Would love a long bar. Oh, but Boxy's gonna hang a piece on the right side too high up on the board and is gonna top out at 301,000 points. So Ryan, that is your chase down. 302 is gonna be their, your target score. And with 305 is already good. Ryan is going to take game number two. Wrong heart. <laughs> increment, that's the word I was looking for. Go ahead and increment your seed, guys. To 3E. Yep, we got it ready from both players. They are ready to go just like that. No waiting. Let's get the countdown with a 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Yo, Tiny Snowdrop, thank you for the 321 bits. I can see the reference there to Boxy's username, 3, 2, 1. Boxy, you've got a fan in the chat. Alright. Ryan, gonna take a little burn there. Boxy, gonna take a Tetris. Boxy, gonna, Ryan gonna take a burn. Boxy gonna take a Tetris. Boxy with these setups, these overhangs. Like I said in the other in the other match, when you set these overhangs, they look extremely precarious. But they end up working out more often than not. But that's really high for a DAS player on 18. But is looking much more comfortable now. <laughs> these setups are ridiculous. Look at that, and it works out. On level 18, you can just hold out for anything. Th this is outrageous. Had the Vitz set up, but is gonna take a Tetris instead. Wow. And look at that adjustment for the long bar. Beautiful stuff from Boxy. Ryan, not doing anything flashy, but just playing very, very, very clean. Very, very simply. Simply? Very simple stack, you know? Sometimes the the less flashy players are the ones that are more re more uh, reliable. Like, I remember um, I wanted to make a video. Ooh, that was high for Boxy, but it's gonna get the long bar over. Look at, look at this stack. Look at this, look at this stack. <laughs> uh, okay, Ryan clean, Boxy clean, both a little high on the board right now, Boxy, oh, this is gonna have to put that T down, oof, gets the line just in the nick of time, couldn't have hung out for a few more pieces there, I mean, held out, but he's getting some nice pieces to get it down a little bit further, doesn't want to get any, put any weight on top of that, but it's gonna have to Smooth Motion, thank you for the resubscription for nine months. Welcome to Tetris, although you've been subscribed for nine months. So, welcome nine months ago. Alright, 174. Ryan, 205 for Boxy Boxy. I'm gonna take a divided double there. Thank you, nine months ago. You're welcome, nine months ago. Who was nine months ago? Obviously, Dan Vinky just got here. He's not aware that we're speaking in the long past tense. That's how that works. Alright, 224 for Ryan. 235 for Boxy. So, I was, what I was saying earlier is a lot of times the less flashy players are the ones that, that play more... Uh, Reliably? What, what is it? Um, consistently. Like, for instance, Eric doesn't really do anything flashy on 29. Doesn't have any crazy dig moments. Like Fractal sometimes does. But he's the one who ended up beating Fractal in the, at the CTWC. Just has that really consistent, reliable, safe, simple board. That, that is not going to get you the clips, but is going to get you the win. 
That being said, both players with very nice stacks. Wow, he's gonna slam down Tetris. 314,000. That's pie. 319,000 for Tetris. What? For <laughs> for Ryan. Tetris is not a player. All right, Boxy playing high right now, but gonna take that triple. No reason not to. Gonna take a Tetris instead. Now that's a really efficient burn. When you burn with a Tetris. Okay, Ryan with a little bit of a misdrop. Would love a long bar. Gonna get the long bar. And it's out of that real, just as quickly as it developed. 370 for Ryan, 388 for Boxy. Boxy a little bit ahead in lines, so we can assume that the that the the true score lead is not not going to be very he heavy in either person's favor right now. It's a close game here. Oh, beautiful burns from Boxy there, although the parody is suffering. But Boxy using that 300 IQ brain to get this burned. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Both players stacking like... Both players stacking is chef's kiss. Is mwah. Yes. I can... I can... Confirm that these stacks are very jalapeno. Alright. Boxy transitions. Is now at 488,000. Ryan oh, has an LJ dependency. Okay, he's gonna transition with 454. And he's gonna take a double while doing it. Yeah, I got droughted there at transition, so didn't never really had an opportunity to set up. Oh, but those J pieces were not optimal. But it's doing well. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. I got it. I got it. Ooh, Ryan is going to hang the T on the left side. He's going to top out at 646. And Boxy is good for a game. Number three. All right, hearts. Where are they? Okay. A oh, boom. Yeah, Ryan got droughted and RNG'd at the same time around transition. That's a death sentence. Alright, go ahead and increment y'all's seeds from 3E to 4F? I think that's correct, yeah. Yep, 4F. And now... With that, both players appear to be ready. Well, Ryan has the ready on the screen. Looking for a ready from Boxy. Just make sure I haven't missed it. Oh, we got a ready from Boxy. Let's get the countdown going. Oh, wait. Yes, we got a ready. Let's get the countdown going. All right. Three, two, one. Tetris game number four is uh, <laughs> coming straight to your door, right? Is that what he says? Mr. Grand himself. The one who designs. Ryan gonna tease, line spin? Yes! You love to see it. Oh, but a double flip there for... That's, na that's nasty, oh my gosh. I was gonna get some good pieces actually. Ah, uh, beautiful square to get it clean. You love to see it. Boxy also up high right now actually. Oh those burns. Beautiful from Boxy. Just DAS player stacking just feels so smart. You, <laughs> as, a, as I say as a roller. Line spin to misdrop true combo indeed. Alright, Ryan, beautiful, 
J and L pieces to clean up what could have been trouble. But instead, he's going to take a Tetris boxy setting up with the long bar. Ooh, boxy. That could have been bad, actually. But ends up getting the Tetris. Another beautiful tuck setup for boxy. Ryan. Looking good on the on either either side except the middle actually has a plateau forming I suppose oh that adjustment for the long bar beautiful stuff it's gonna, gonna get the Tetris there 313 versus 331 for Ryan and Boxy respectively Boxy ahead in lines though well not by much actually I'd say they're pretty much dead even at this at this time Although I'm not a mathematician. All right, Boxy, <laughs> gonna uh, put the line into column two there to fill that out. Works out, cause getting a lot of lines actually. Ryan Guayfi says in the chat, Ryan, you have a fan as well. Buko. Okay, I think Grafie is just losing losing their mind. Grafie, you should go take a nap. It's obvious you're under you're under stress. <laughs> Ryan is next, Buko. For real, the people's champ, actually. Alright, Ryan. Putting the J in a seemingly awkward position was actually probably the best move. And is Beautifully clean again. Boxy gonna be burning again. We see Boxy get into burns, but, they, but then get out of them just as quick with those. With those smart plays. Keeping the weight off the holes. That looks worse than it actually is. That square is gonna help. Would love an L piece. And there we go. Actually gonna get it a center well formed here. And boom. Center well Tetris for... Boxy, 304 at 85 versus 283 at 80 for Ryan. People's Champ usually implies winning. Oh! The roast from Saint. Wow. All right, both players digging a little bit. All right, Ryan with the long bar and the JP is gonna get it all clean. Boxy still looking for the right pieces. That's some oof RNG though, but it's gonna get it, get it cleaned rather quickly. Ah, oh, that lines, uh, excuse me, T-spin. It's all line spins to me now. T-spin looking nice. Gonna set up center well here? Yep. Uh, almost set up there. Set up for the center well Tetris now. Boxy slamming down the center well Tetris. Ryan with a super flat stack. Not accommodating for the for that Z burst. Is Boxy a genius? I, I'm getting that sense, yes. Boxy, another center well Tetris. You know the most surprising genius? I talk about Quaid a lot. Ryan's saving Tetris. I'm not saving any. Oh, you mean the when I took the restream. I've talked about Quaid a lot. He is sharp. But he's also just so childish. So it makes for a really com funny combination. Anyways, Boxy. Transitions now at 445. Ryan has one burn remaining f gonna for uh mm. all right ryan gonna transition with 422 and ryan with a tetris there so both players ooh, oh ryan with a with a misdrop 
Uh, but it's looking good. It's at the bottom of the stack. Just needs to not go aggressive, and that's exactly what they're doing. Getting it clean. Setting up a hang. Has a line dependency now. Ooh, but Boxy playing high right now. Boxy not going to wait for the long bar for one second. Plugs it right away. And it's just going to be digging for a little bit longer. Although that left side could get dangerous. But manages to get it over. Is Ryan from Oklahoma? Uh, I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, Boxy clean. Ryan clean. Everyone clean. Although Ryan would love some stuff for the left side. Oh, that long bar hang is going to be tricky. But getting it done, gets a beautiful J piece and the Tetris out of it just as quickly as he got into it. Set up for another Tetris now, Ryan. It's gonna get it there with 560 now. Boxy, but not not really closing the gap here with Boxy. Boxy at 638 is not letting up. This game has a lot of momentum behind it. Check his hands, fake das. Well, he has either the weirdest tapping grip ever, or he's just very good at trip quick tapping. Oh! Ryan, with some... was getting high there. But manages to get it down. 704 for Boxy. Boxy also having some, some garbage. Ryan, getting clean. Boxy, already clean. Set up for a column 9 Tetris. It's going to get it there with the one line transfer back to the right well. Boxy not letting up one bit. Ryan is going to have to start scoring a lot here if he wants to catch up. And is going to hang the long bar on the left side. I'm not sure if there's anything Ryan can do now. Would need a uh, L piece and some crazy luck, but is not going to get it. Going to top out of 643 and Boxy takes game number four and moves on to round number two. Look at that, 825. This is a DAS player, guys. They're not supposed to be good. Mm. I won't say it. <laughs> I, that's rich coming for me as a roller. Okay. Reporting now. Oh, heckin' frick. Alright. And let's see if, if our bracket is updated now. Wait, update. There we go. Now we have Andrew K versus Boxy. Get ready. Viewership down 50 viewers immediately. All of the casual DAS players have left. Alright. Let's get Andrew on the screen here. And Mr. Boxy will stay on the right side. Gonna switch it to round two. Just making sure I got all the all the stuff here. Alright, I think that's good. All lev all the level 5 Beepo Monk users <laughs> leaving chat. No. Can I have a five minute break? Andrew, you got you got a schedule to keep or I mean, sure, I I don't see why not. Ah, cute dog. Yeah, Boxy, feel free to- Ah, the hearts! Okay. What? Hearts? Huh? Oh. Okay, you didn't notice anything? Cool. Hearts. 
Hearts on a sleep timer. Mm. All I can see is dog. Look at that dog. That's a. Uh, that dog has no emotions, no thoughts going on inside its head right now. It's just existing. It doesn't know what it wants, it has no purpose in life. It just has his tongue sticking out because the owner's taking a picture of it. I've never felt so much hatred for a small creature before. What if Andrew just started rolling? Haven't seen them around in Andrew. Oh, when? I'm not sure. But they're pretty consistent with the rolling. I mean, look at that. Is that Transition Trainer? It might be. Yeah, that's Transition Trainer. But it's very, very good with the rolling. I mean, that five tap just came easy for him. That's that's a five tap you hit every time. What the frick? Zero dropped frames the entire stream? That's a miracle. Started to roll like a yeah ago, like like a year ago, but started playing seriously about a month or two ago. Okay. Dude, what is this? My college is saying they caught packages for me at the mail room. Commentator's curse. What? What did I say? Frick. I don't even remember what I said. That's not good. Rolling flawlessly and missed drops. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Dropped frames imminent. No! No, we're gonna get through. I... It's been an hour and 38 minutes. If, if there are gonna be dropped frames, they would have happened already, right? Right? We're gonna get zero. Zero percent. Coplum? What the frick? Oh, copium. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Is that a new copium thing? I have, I have a friend who says copium in real life. It's hilarious. I wonder what streamers... Oh, he, wa he probably watches Hearthstone streamers. Anyone here watch Hearthstone? Or play Hearthstone? I don't. My friend does, though. Tells me about it, and I don't remember anything about it. I'm a bad friend. Well, no, not really. I just... I think he knows I don't care, but he just likes talking about it anyways. So, it's whatever. I did for years. Very cool. I have the sense that it's a mobile game, but... But it has a really, um strong community and there's a lot of people that play it and it and they take it more seriously than you'd expect for a mobile game unless I'm just biased me the Tetris player on the 1980s console mm. then quit yep <laughs> true true life of a gamer play game quit game play game So retro, yeah. We're so different, guys. We're very, we're very cool.
Oh, Rigor Mortis, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Tetris. Rigor Mortis, that's my other friend's favorite Kendrick song. It's pretty. It's a pretty catchy song, I have to say. Those trumpets. I can still hear them. Rick and Mortis? <gasps> oh, wait. Oh, we got it ready from Boxy. Uh, wait, let me refresh the stream. Oh, there we go. All right, we got it ready from both players. With that, let's get the countdown going. Round two here of our green racket for future circuit. Who will continue? Who will not? Wow. Those are the only two questions we're going to answer when this countdown ends. In three, two, one, Tetris. All right, there they go. Wow. All right. We got a roller versus Das here. Roller gonna take a few burns. Das player gonna make some delayed burns. Actually, both players burning. I think they're both pretty even right now. 300k. No, not <laughs> not 300k. 300,000. No, not Ren's numbers. 54k for Andrew K. Three, no, <laughs> 52k for Boxy. This is, I gotta get this down before I have a chase down to announce. I'm not, my history with saying correct numbers for chase downs has not always been the best. Thankfully, no one remembers. Counting hard. Yes. In French, I heard French counting is ridiculous because everything is in multiples of 20 or something. So you have to do math every time you just want to say a number. I know in Chinese, you just say the numbers of the... Ooh, Andrew K with the, the misdrop up high. We can get the burns to get, get it down and can burn this off rather easily, hopefully. All right, not gonna get great pieces, so we'll be digging for a bit. Boxy sets up a T-spin. These setups from Boxy, just outrageous. Gonna get the T-spin and the Tetris right after, look at that. Andrew K, still digging. Well, yeah, gonna be digging for some time now. Not sure if that S placement, excuse me, Z placement was intentional or not. Either way, it's looking better now. Still try not to put weight on those holes, but it's not doesn't always work out. All right, there we go. Getting the stack further down. Now actually set up for a Tetris. Gonna set up for it. Holding out for it. And just gonna get it there. Actually setting up for another, look at that. Aggressive playing from Andrew K. I'm just gonna get it. Boxy. Just playing nice and clean so far. Andrew's still setting up here. Kinda dirty, dusty Tetris. Boxy, gonna take a singular burn down there. Oh, Boxy just Great, great stuff. 316k for Boxy, 248 for Andrew K, and Andrew K is ahead of lines as well. So Boxy is in a quite a decent lead here, being behind in lines and up almost 100,000, but Andrew K working his way back.
as long as Boxy keeps up this pace, there's not much Andrew can do at this point. But, oh, he's going to hang a long bar on the left side. And that's going to be it for Andrew K. Tops out at 296. And Boxy's good for game number one. GG's from both players. Andrew K trying to stay aggressive during that dig, setting up Tetris's pretty high up on the board. All right, we got a ready from Andrew K. And a hover three from Boxy. Let's get the countdown going for game number two. In three, two, one, Tetris. Boxy ahead by 12 points right now with the push down points. You never know, that could be the difference. Tetris, indeed. Oof, Andrew K. Tough placement with that J. That rhymes. Hmm. I'll have to. I'll have to remember that. But is out of it now. Nine thousand for Andrew K. Actually getting the first touches of the game right then at fourteen lines. Followed quickly by another. Boxy with ninety one K at sixteen lines. Is that perfect? Yeah. Boxy. Actually, gonna take a one singular burn there, SMH. That's sarcastic. Of course. Energy sending those squares flying over to the left. Going S flat for the burn. Oh, the last square didn't make it all the way up. A little bit tricky to dig, but manages to get the long bar over and can burn this off now, but sets up a hole way down there at the bottom. Ooh, but the missed five tap there is going to spell trouble. Oh, it's not going to get the long bar over to the left and it's going to top out at 89,000. So Boxy at 188k. Is good for game number two as well. Tough early top out for Andrew K. This is gonna give Boxy three chances to take this bracket. Got a ready from Boxy and a ready from Andrew K. They're gonna go right into it with no delay. Let's get on with what could be the last match, excuse me, game of this bracket. Three, two, one, Tetris. Andrew K is going to do everything they can. Actually playing with Das right now. Switching the play style. Going to try and change the mindset. That's definitely um, a strategy that is more effective than you'd think. If you, if you know you're overthinking placements and stuff like that, by switching up something about your play can definitely take your mind off. mind off of the stacking and onto something else but yeah overthinking is definitely a Tetris's a Tetris players is arch and arch nemesis at least that's what I found and look at that Andrew K perfect at 16 lines boxy has taken a few burns but nothing serious both players playing very clean Andrew K taking their first burn of the game. But has it cleared over right down to the bottom in no time.
Okay, a little bit of delayed burning there from Andrew. He's going to get the Tetris there. 146 to 35 lines versus Boxy 125 or 34 lines. So Andrew K with a with a decent lead here, I'd say. But of course, it's only the beginning of the game. Boxy with another Tetris. Andrew gets that well open. And gets that Tetris there. Ah, beautiful adjustment there for the T piece from Angie K. And it's going to get another Tetris putting on the pace here. Setting up long bar in column 9. Works out with the T piece. Not holding back this game. Would love a J piece. Gonna get the J. Also playing safe, you can see Andrew K here. Creating the opportunity for that for the efficiency, but also playing safe when he has to. Boxy just playing the same as he's been doing with two 270 at 68 lines versus Andrew K with 236 to 66. So yeah, pretty much. Well, actually, I'd say Boxy may be ahead by Tetris. Tetris and change. Andrew K. Burns looking much cleaner now. Boxy with that T piece set up. And now the Tetris again. Both, yeah, Boxy been getting a lot of long bars. Have been counting the long bars on Andrew K's side, but I think both players are getting favor favorable RNG so far this match. I say that, but now Andrew K having to do some digging there. Just, just bad RNG. And Boxy actually as well has has to take a triple there with that hold at the bottom. Set up for the Tetris though. Andrew K as well set up for a Tetris. Both players waiting on that long bar. Andrew's gonna get a first with a Tetris down the column two. Boxy there fires back. Boxy takes a triple, transfers the well over, and is now looking to set up for another Tetris with a clean right well. Andrew one off the bottom. One off the bottom is no no issues one off the bottom on level 18 even for Das set up very comfortably right now could take a double not going to just taking a single if they can but getting droughted right now that's that's rough this drought on Andrew K's side is really tough Needs to get something over to the left side. It's not going to happen and is going to reset there. Andrew K is done with a ridiculous drought. And Boxy is going to take the sweep. Andrew K just got that game stolen from him at the end. And Boxy secures this bracket. You can watch Foxy mulling this out. Or not. <laughs> Congratulations, Foxy. Let's go to the winner's scene. Say hi to your fans. You have won the bracket. Hi, Cobra. Didn't want to win my first bracket like that. Yeah, it's rough, but a win's a win. A loss is a loss.
Yeah, of course. Thank you guys for playing. I love... I uh, don't always sign up to do these, but every time I do, I like it. So with that, we can take a look at our bracket. You can see here, Boxy has moved on. We'll be facing Sunny in match 14 in the semifinals. Stay tuned for that. Well, not now, actually. It's going to happen later because we are done for the day today. Thank you all so much for watching, and we can raid a channel now.